Tracking and managing product stock based on expiration dates is mandatory to avoid selling expired products to customers. So with Odoo, you can track and manage your products based on their expiration dates, even if they are already tracked by lots of serial numbers. So let us see how we can set expiration dates on products in Odoo 50. So when you open inventory, and go to configuration settings. There we can just search for expiration. Here we can find expiration dates. So we can set expiration dates on products track using lots of serial numbers. So after enabling this, just save the settings. And along with this, you can also display expiration dates on delivery slips. So those dates will appear on delivery slip. So let us open a product and set expiration date. So here we have a product bread. So you can see I've added some basic details like have set product type, invoicing policy, unit of measure, that is default unit of measure for uh, stock operations and for purchase. Then have set sales price, customer taxes, cost, product category. Now let's come under inventory. And here you can see the option to track the product. So we can track this product either by using lots or by unique serial number. So if you choose one, you can see here that option came expiration date. So you can enable this and set expiration dates for your product. So these expiration dates can be set for the product only when you are tracking it by using lots of serial number. So make sure that you have enabled lots of serial number option from inventory module. And if you want to know more about the configuration of lots of serial number in order 15, you can check the link above. So we can set four different types of dates. So first one is expiration time. So here we can set the number of days before the goods may become dangerous and must not be consumed. So it is actually the number of days after the receipt of the products. That is after receiving it from the vendor or in stock after production. And next we have best before time. So here we can see the number of days before the goods started deteriorating without being dangerous. So we can set best before time, some days before the expiration time. Next one is removal time. So here we can set the number of days before the goods should be removed from the stock. So you have to set removal time some days before the expiration time. And next one is the product alert time. That is, it refers to the number of days before an alert should be raised on the lot or serial number. So here we can set the expiration time. Let me set it as 10 days, 10 days after reception, then best before time as six days and removal time as seven days Then alert time as six days. So these will be computed on the lot or serial number. So let us first purchase this product. Let's open purchase module and create a purchase order. So 
So let me purchase five quantity of this product from vendor Azure India. So here can be the cost and subtotal. So now let's confirm this purchase order and receive the products from the vendor. So I have added some quality checks. So after that, we can validate the transfer. So here we can see we are receiving uh, the product bread five quantities from Azure Interior and we are storing it in our stock. So before validation, we have to provide the lot of serial number. So just click on this and here we have to add lot number. Here we can add a number and you can see the expiration date is shown here because we have set an expiration date for the product which is 10 days after receiving the product. So here let me add five quantity. Now we can confirm this and validate the receipt. So here we can find the traceability report uh, for the product. So you can see five quantity of bread is moved from vendor's location to stock so it has a lot number lot 7768 now let's go to our inventory module and here we have our lot of serial numbers so you can see for our bread we have set expiration dates so here we can View the expiration date, best before date, removal date, and alert date set for this lot number. And you can also edit this from here. Now here, if I change the expiration date, and if I set it for today, you can see an expiration alert is shown for this lot number. And you can also filter lot numbers with expiration alert. So here you can see we have only one lot or serial number with expiration alert. And if you try to sell this product to customer, let's create a sale order. Choose a customer and add this product bread. Now let's confirm the sale order. And here, when you click on delivery and you try to validate this transfer, that is, if you try to transfer this product from our stock to customer's location. can see a message is shown you are going to deliver the product bread with lot 7768 which is expired so do you confirm you want to proceed so you can proceed with the expired one or we can proceed expect for expired one So that's how we set expiration dates on products. So that's all for this video and 
thanks for watching and if you have any implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odovatsybrosis.com